Mr. Chibana, congratulations on your first homeroom class. I'll take on more of the workload, so you can focus on getting used to being a homeroom teacher. My name is Tomoya Sasajima. I'm a 26-year-old teacher who has been working at Lovekoi Elementary School for four years. At the beginning of this school year, I had this conversation with Miss Tachibana, who had just started as a homeroom teacher. Thank you so much. I might cause some trouble, but I'll do my best. Being a teacher, a job where you can share in the joy of children's growth up close, has been my dream since I was little. Um, Mr. Sasajima, I don't get this problem. What should I do? It's the percentage problem we learned the other day. How are we supposed to solve it? Oh, I think I get it now. I might be able to do it. Seeing the children's faces light up with a smile like flowers blooming when they understand something is what makes me happiest. Looking at his notebook, Kenjiku muttered, I really messed up. I forget things we've learned so quickly and make mistakes. That's not true. Everyone makes mistakes or has things they're not good at. What's important isn't not making mistakes, but how you make use of them. And if you still struggle, we can always help each other out. Mr. Sasajima, but isn't that cheating on a test? Ugh, oh, that's no good. Tests are an exception. Mr. Sasajima, there's a call from the Tosaka family on line one. Thank you, I'll take it. I'm good at dealing with students and parents, and I think I have a pretty good reputation, even if I say so myself. I'm sure that teaching is the perfect job for me. At least, that's what I thought. At the end of the school year, there was a staff reshuffle. And in April, a new vice principal was appointed, which changed everything. The new motto was to leave classroom matters to the teachers, so the grade level work was handed over to the homeroom teachers. Taking advantage of this, Mr. Saeki, the grade leader of the fifth grade, began doing as he pleased. Mr. Sasajima, about this month's great newsletter. It's your turn again. What? Again? I thought we agreed to take turns writing the great newsletter. My class has been dealing with some friendship issues, so I'm really busy. I'm confident in my communication skills, but I'm pretty bad at admin tasks. Mr. Saeki kept piling more grade level work on me, which only increased my workload in areas I wasn't good at. Um, I can help you. You're juggling a lot right now, Mr. Sasajima. She offered, but Miss Tachibana was already overwhelmed as a first-year homeroom teacher. It was clear that she couldn't take home more, so I tried to refuse her offer whenever I could. And then... Sasajima sensei Haven't you contacted the field trip venue yet? Aren't you too incompetent? How can someone like you be a homeroom teacher for these sensitive fifth graders? Are you taking this job seriously? Uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Saeki started to gripe at me, making sure no other teachers noticed. Why is he only targeting me? I'm a well-liked teacher. Eventually, he dumped all the tasks on me. The monthly grade newsletter, planning the events for the May sports day, and preparing for the summer camp. Mr. Saeki's behavior escalated, leading to an increase in my workload and more overtime. My mind and body were both wearing down. Official work hours ended at 5 p.m., but I couldn't leave until at least 9 p.m. every night. I even started working on weekends, but neither the overtime nor the weekend work was paid, so I was effectively working for free. The other teachers were too busy with their own duties. In Japan, it's generally accepted that teachers work unpaid overtime. Miss Tachibana apparently tried to talk to Mr. Saeki about improving things, but he dismissed it as necessary for career advancement, so nothing changed. Then, one day, something strange happened. When I tried to leave my house for work, my feet wouldn't move forward. Ugh, this might be bad. I quickly called work and headed to the hospital. They referred me to a psychiatrist, who diagnosed me with mild depression. I had a plan to take a break during the summer and think about my future, but my condition worsened. I'm sorry, I become depressed. Please let me resign. So you couldn't handle the demands of teaching after all. Fine, you're dismissed. Yes, I'm sorry. Resigning in the middle of the school year left me feeling deeply sorry for the students and parents I loved so much. And so, I left the school with a heavy heart filled with regret. After quitting, 
I found myself with nothing to do, spending aimless days at home. I've gotten calls from Ms. Tachibana and other teachers after that, but I didn't have the courage to answer, so I just listened to the voicemails and sent messages in return. I can't keep going on like this. I need to do something to lift my spirits. That's it. A trip. I haven't taken one in a while. I've always loved hot springs and used to travel often during long holidays. Hoping to heal my heavy heart, even if just a little, I decided to take a solo trip. Whoa, the smell of the hot springs and this scenery. It's wonderful. A week later, I managed to snag a reservation at a ryokan on the waitlist and arrived at a hot spring town. It was bustling with people because of the summer break, and the lively atmosphere of the town made my heart stir for the first time in a while. I decided to check in at the ryokan I had reserved, Hotomeki Ryokan. Welcome, Mr. Sasajima. Thank you for coming. We can serve your meal either in the banquet hall or your room. Which would you prefer? Then I'll have it in the banquet hall, please. Certainly. After soaking in the hot spring and having dinner, I noticed that the proprietress and her staff seemed to be in a bit of a rush. Feeling concerned, I left the banquet hall to see what was going on. Keiko-chan, have you finished preparing the futons in the rooms? Well, I was setting up the meals first, so I haven't gotten to it yet. Oh no, the guests will be returning to their rooms soon. I'll get them ready right away! Are they short-staffed? Um, is something wrong, proprietress? You look like you're short on staff, so I got worried. Mr. Sasajima? Actually, due to a staff member falling ill, we are indeed short-staffed. I deeply apologize for the inconvenience this has caused you. I see. If it's alright with you, I'd be happy to help out while I'm here. What? We could never ask a guest to do such a thing. I'm just a novice, so my abilities are limited. But I used to be a teacher, so I'm confident in my physical strength and communication skills. Really? That's very reassuring, but it's your vacation. It's fine. I've been so touched by everyone's warm hospitality. I'd love to help out. In that case, it's with great reluctance that I accept your offer. Thank you. And so, I ended up helping with the Ryokan's work for the next two days as much as I could. Young man, thank you for preparing the room. I'll be nearby, so please let me know if you need anything. Oh, in that case, could I ask you about some local sightseeing spots? Once I started working, I found that being a maid was quite physically demanding. It also required quick thinking, so I carefully did my job while consulting with Hanasan and the other maids. Mr. Sasajima, we can't thank you enough for your help. Two days later, after getting through the busy period with many guests, the proprietress looked greatly relieved as she saw off the last of them. Oh no, I'm just glad I could be of some assistance. You did more than help. Your hospitality received excellent reviews from the guests. I understand you're currently looking for a job, Mr. Sasajima. I believe this work is your calling. How about working with us? Huh? The proprietress's suggestion echoed in my mind, and I found myself pondering the idea of working as a ryokan maid. Um, could I have some time to think about it? My mind's a bit jumbled right now. Of course. I look forward to hearing from you. After a month of contemplation, I decided to become a maid and return to Hotomeki Ryokan. I'm really grateful that you moved close to the Ryokan. I just couldn't forget those fulfilling two days. I started thinking that maybe there are places other than my previous job where I can make a difference. Your hospitality is excellent. I can vouch for that. Let's work together from now on. The days that followed were busy, but incredibly enjoyable. Led by the kind proprietress, Hana Takeuchi, the staff were warm and welcoming, and I was blessed with wonderful colleagues. Mr. Sasajima, we received a survey from the guests who stayed with us the other day. They rated your hospitality the highest. Really? That makes me so happy! The proprietress was aware of my depression and kept a warm eye on me as I worked. And I was blessed with wonderful guests too. Thank you again, Mr. Sasajima. I'm so glad you're working here. Your hospitality really helps soothe the daily stress. It makes me happy to hear that. 
Please visit us again anytime. The regulars remembered my face and name, and I started receiving more compliments on my hospitality. Mr. Sasajima, you're really popular with the guests. As a senior maid, I can't afford to lose to you. My colleague, Miss Ohara, spoke to me cheerfully. There was no malice in her words, and I found myself smiling naturally. Thank you. I'm really enjoying every day of work, too. The painful days at the elementary school felt like they were slowly being cleansed over the past few months. I never imagined there would be a job that suited me so well. I'm really glad I came here. Meanwhile, the school I left was preparing for the new school year and the upcoming field trip. The field trip will be held as planned in the third week of June. The parent-teacher conference will be held during the open house at the beginning of April. The number of participants is 105, as planned. I'll confirm the dates with the accommodation. Yes, the documents seem to be in order. Make sure the plan is solid so that there are no complaints from the parents. Yes, we want the kids to have a fun field trip. In May, my voice echoed through Hotomeki Ryokan. You're accepting Love Koi Elementary School's field trip? Yes. I heard they needed to change accommodations suddenly, so we agreed to host them. The 6th graders from Lovekoi Elementary were the ones I was homeroom teacher for before I resigned in the summer. They were supposed to stay elsewhere last year. I never expected to see them again like this. I wasn't sure what face to show them. I felt the lingering clouds in my heart grow a little thicker. On the day of the group's arrival, I waited nervously for the children to arrive. The moment they spotted me at the Ryokan's entrance, the kids exclaimed in surprise and delight. Hey, it's Mr. Sasajima! You're working here? I'm so happy to see you! Been a while, everyone. You look well. It's been less than a year since I last saw them, but the kids have grown so much. It made me keenly aware of the passage of time. Welcome to Hotomeke Ryokan. We'll do our best to make this a fun field trip for you all. Thank you. Everyone, please say your greetings. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much! As I watched the kids happily chatting and heading to their rooms. So you quit teaching, and now you're working here, huh? The familiar unpleasant voice in my ear sent a chill down my spine. Mr. Saeki, long time no see. Well, I'm counting on you today. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best to make your stay enjoyable. I forced a big smile and let Mr. Saeki's snide remarks slide. After finishing their day's itinerary, the kids returned to the Ryokan for dinner, and I cleaned up the banquet hall. Serving over a hundred guests was much more work than usual, and although I was exhausted, I kept a smile on my face. Ah, there you are, Mr. Sasajima. Mr. Saeki, how can I help you? Mr. Saeki called out to me while I was alone in the banquet hall. Then he closed the sliding door and entered the room. A bad feeling came over me, and that feeling soon turned into certainty. Are you sure you're managing this Ryokan job properly? What? His pointed sarcasm caught me off guard, and I froze for a moment. Because, you know, you quit teaching because you couldn't handle the admin work, right? A person who couldn't even last until the end of the school year. Do you really think you can handle hospitality? I'm grateful to everyone at this Ryokan for teaching me the value of fulfilling work, especially when I was lost after leaving teaching. Fulfilling, huh? I bet you'll get some terrible guests too. And after dealing with all those complaints, you might just run away again, saying you're depressed or whatever. Heh. <laughs> Ugh. You couldn't even do your job properly. Aren't you causing trouble to your customers too? I couldn't even handle the tasks I was given, so I had no response. Just then. So, it was really Mr. Saeki's fault that Mr. Sasajima quit. I knew something was off when such a kind teacher who cared about us suddenly left. Kenji-kun, Sakura-san. It seemed they had been peeking through the gap. The two of them opened the sliding door and glared at Mr. Saeki with a look of deep contempt. What? what are you two doing here? Nothing much. We just wanted to explore the Ryokan bit, since there was some time before the bath. Uh, I see. Are you enjoying the field trip? It would have been more fun if we hadn't heard what you just said, Mr. Saeki. Uh, 
Mr. Saiki tried to plaster on his usual fake smile, but the kids' attitudes were cold. Don't try to cover it up, Mr. Sayaki. So it's true that Mr. Sasajima had to quit because of your bullying. Was he really depressed? That's straight up bullying. We loved Mr. Sasajima. This is too much. You told us to get along with everyone, but adults are the ones hurting others like this, huh? No, no, that's not what happened. There's a misunderstanding. Mr. Saeki must not want to lose the trust he has built with the kids. He desperately tried to explain himself to the two of them. In the adult world, responsibility is a big deal. I was just asking Mr. Sasajima if he was fulfilling his responsibilities. But before you lecture others, what about you, Mr. Saeki? Is it okay for adults to ignore people's feelings as long as they're responsible? Gah! Well, that's... Uh, Mr. Sasajima made a lot of mistakes, so I was just giving him guidance. I don't think just scolding someone is always right. Mr. Sasajima said that everyone makes mistakes and has things they're not good at. That's why we help each other out. Did you ever try to help Mr. Sasajima when he was struggling? I felt so happy that they remembered my words. And as they stood protectively in front of me, I couldn't help but feel a tightness in my chest. When I get home, I'm going to tell my parents that Mr. Sasajima is doing well and that Mr. Sayaki is a terrible adult. Me too! I'll tell everyone! Oh, and isn't there something like a helpline? I think I heard about it somewhere. Wait, wait, please! Anything but that! It's impossible to keep this a secret, don't you think? These kids are honest and good-hearted. Unable to cling to the two of them, Mr. Saeki bit his lip in frustration as he found himself cornered. Ah, uh, there you are! Sakura-san and Kenji-kun. You two shouldn't leave the room without permission. Now back to your room. Oh no! Miss Tachibana found us! See you later, Mr. Sasajima! Thank you both for standing up for me. I'm so glad I got to see how much you've grown. <laughs> we were happy to see you too, Mr. Sasajima! Miss Tachibana led Sakura-san and Kenji-kun out of the banquet hall. She was about to leave as well, but then, she turned back to me. The other kids said they're happy their regret about not going on the field trip with you has been cleared up. Seeing how much the kids admired you as a teacher made me want to be like that too. Let's make this last day great! Ugh, oh, thank you! Let's do our best! I felt so relieved and happy to be part of the kids' joyful trip, even if just for a moment. Even after the kids left, Mr. Saeki stood there in frustration. Then, Miss Hana and our regular guest, Miss Todoka, arrived. Excuse me? Has Mr. Sasajima done something to offend you? Well, I can't imagine there'd be anything to criticize about Mr. Sasajima's service. Oh no, it's not that there was a problem. I see. I overheard your conversation earlier. Realizing the proprietress had heard everything, Mr. Saiki's demeanor suddenly became erratic. If that's the case, could you refrain from harassing our staff with your condescending attitude? He's no longer your colleague after all. Y yes I'm sorry I apologize for interrupting your work, Miss Hana. No, it's fine. If you're a guest here, you must have noticed how exceptional Mr. Sasajima's service is. His warmth makes me want to come back to this Ryokan over and over again. Thank you as always, Miss Tadaka. No need to thank me. We're the ones who always have a great time here. I made it this far thanks to the help of so many people. Feeling a push from them, I decided to clearly express my thoughts. It's true that I may have been an incompetent teacher who struggled with admin work. But, I was surrounded by students and parents who appreciated me, and I loved teaching because every day was fulfilling. I couldn't continue due to depression, but now, I'm in a new environment, and I'm living a rewarding life. I can't accept you mocking my current situation, where I believe I found my true calling, and who I am now. Grr, you couldn't even handle admin work properly. You were more trusted by students and parents than I was, and now you're doing well at the Ryokan too. How infuriating. 
Mr. Saiki glared at me in frustration. But then the proprietress gave him a sweet smile and said one thing. Ah, I see. It's jealousy. Male jealousy is quite unbecoming. I'll make sure to report this to your school. And with that, Mr. Saeki, unable to respond, retreated to his room. The next day, I was saying goodbye to the kids as they stood in line with their luggage. I'll come back with my parents next time. Please wait for me. I had so much fun. Stay healthy, Mr. Sajima. Yes, keep up the good work, everyone. I watched the children leave, thinking how I wanted to congratulate them with a smile at their graduation ceremony. Mr. Sasajima, I'm so sorry. Miss Tachibana apologized to me. She said she felt very responsible for my depression because she couldn't be of more help. Please, lift your head. Being a homeroom teacher for the first time is tough, right? I'm the one who's sorry for quitting in the middle of it. If I had pushed more work onto her, she might have been crushed too. That's why I don't hold anything against her. She thanked me in the end and promised to become a wonderful teacher, not just for herself, but for me as well, before returning to school. After that, rumors spread that Mr. Saeki had been harassing his colleagues through the students. The school received numerous complaints from students, parents, and even the community. For a week, all the teachers, including Mr. Saeki, were swamped with handling the situation. It severely impacted their work, the position I've been building up! Ugh. And it turns out, Miss Tachibana had secretly recorded the conversation in the banquet hall. That was the final nail in the coffin, leading to a pay cut and eventually his resignation. He never returned to teaching. As for me, I'm now focused on making sure every guest who comes to the Ryokan has an enjoyable stay. Mr. Sasajima, did seeing the kids again make you think about returning to teaching? Well, a little, but... I'm not good with admin work. I love teaching, but maybe it wasn't my true calling. I feel like I'm much more suited to being a maid than a teacher. My place is here, at Hotomeki Ryokan. <laughs> You're so reliable. Miss Hana looks at me gently. I'm so grateful to have met her and to have found this Ryokan. Um, would you consider walking through life with me as my partner from now on? The kindness you've shown me. I'd love to repay it in my own way. Yes, I'd love to. Everyone has things they aren't good at. That's why it's important to help each other. But no one should be left behind. I experienced this firsthand during this journey.